Hello and welcome to today's video. Improving your vocabulary can help you speak more confidently and understand more complex conversations. Today I've got 10 advanced words to test your English vocabulary. If you know all of them, your vocabulary is truly impressive. But if not, don't worry. I'll explain the meanings and show you how to use each word in sentences so you can improve your vocabulary. Let's begin. Word number one. Plummet. Plummet. The correct answer is plunge. To plummet means to fall suddenly and quickly. It's often used to describe a sharp decrease in value, quantity, or level. Here are some common collocations with plummet. For example, you might say, Last night the temperature plummeted to minus 10 degrees Celsius. House prices plummeted after the area was declared a flood zone. Word number two, cloud, as a verb. Cloud. The correct answer is confuse. To cloud means to make someone confused or to make something harder to understand. You can use cloud in phrases like cloud someone's judgment, vision, or memory. For example, his anger clouded his judgment and he made a bad decision. Word number three, obstinate. Obstinate. The correct answer is stubborn. If someone is obstinate, they are stubborn and don't want to change their mind or behavior, even when it would be easier or better to do so. Jake was obstinate and didn't admit he was wrong, even when everyone knew he was. Word number four, embargo. Embargo. The correct answer is boycott. An embargo is an official ban or restriction on trade or other commercial activity with a particular country or entity. You can say impose or lift an embargo on something. For example, after years of restrictions, they finally lifted the embargo on importing goods. Word number five, fleeting. Fleeting. The correct answer is brief. If something is fleeting, that means it lasts for only a short time. Here are some common collocations with fleeting. For example, Emma had a fleeting moment of fear when she heard a loud noise behind her. We only had a fleeting visit to the museum because of our tight schedule. Word number six, indulge, indulge. The correct answer is satisfy. If you indulge in something, that means you allow yourself to do or have something that you enjoy. It's important to indulge yourself with a nice vacation every once in a while. Sam indulged in some ice cream after a long day. Word number seven, morose, morose. The correct answer is unhappy. 
If someone is morose, that means they are very unhappy, annoyed, or in a bad mood. After the argument, he seemed morose and didn't want to talk. Word number eight, lavish, lavish. The correct answer is expensive. If something is lavish, that means it is rich, luxurious, or very expensive. Lily received lavish gifts from her family for her birthday. David enjoys living a lavish lifestyle with expensive cars and clothes. Word number nine, erupt, erupt. The correct answer is explode. If a volcano erupts, that means it explodes and throws out lava, ash, and gas. For example, when the volcano erupted, the surrounding area was covered in ash. But erupt isn't only used for volcanoes. It can also mean to start suddenly and violently, especially in the context of conflict or violence. For example, after the demonstration, violence erupted in the streets, leading to several arrests. Word number 10, outcry, outcry. The correct answer is protest. Outcry refers to a strong public expression of anger or protest, often in response to something unfair or wrong. There was a public outcry after the government raised taxes. I hope you enjoyed the test. Remember, improving your vocabulary is key to becoming more confident in English. The more words you know, the better you can communicate and understand others. Keep learning and your skills will grow with time. Also, don't forget to share your results in the comments below. Thanks for watching and see you next time.